Okay, this is the instructions on how to use the dynamic RTE conversion model. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and change the name to, you know, whatever you need to know to specifically identify that particular model that you're using. This one particularly, I'm just going to go with test just because we're just for testing purposes. I'm doing an LCM model first. You want to make sure you'll check your uh, bat size minimum. We'll stay with one. So we'll do the max four and the optimal maximum height and width. So we'll go ahead and keep it with those particular ones unless you feel like changing them. And then the bottom ones will just keep uh, just normal. The execution button for the Q prompt. It's already started. You'll if you get an error, you know, there's probably something wrong. Um, but if everything went right, you'll see this. It'll begin. It goes pretty quickly. Once you've done it a couple times, it seems to go faster the more I did it, but um, this is about the fifth time. But the first time did take a little longer, had to load some extra stuff. Here, fast forward the video to when it's finished. All right, so it's almost finished now. It's clearing the cache, and it didn't take but, you know, some couple minutes to go ahead and do that so once that's done and complete you've created your engine for the R, the tensor rt uh, we'll go ahead and load that workflow i'm just going to change the prompts here real quick we'll load the workflow that's uh the latest one in the discord uh, but before we do that we gotta set up the, the capture cam from toys comfy uh, custom node so we'll go ahead and click on the capture cam folder inside the node folder and then you'll want to click up the setup bat file. That bat file will create the Python environment that runs everything for this uh, particular uh, web app. So when you click on the web app, it'll open up the app. You want to choose which way you're doing it. If you have something on your desktop and you want to capture it, you move the region window around to where you need it to be. So if you're working with, you know, some 3D models or something, whatever you're doing, um, you can capture your desktop like that. If you're working with the GoPro like I am, the drop down will be like that. You'll click on the webcam, so it'll open up a window. I did click on AI render, <clears throat> but um, I made a mistake, so don't do that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and click webcam, face detect, and then start. And when that starts, another window will pop up and you should be able to see your webcam. If you don't see your webcam, you'll need to start it again. Um, stop it and then start it. So we'll come back over here and we'll look for your the TensorRT engine that we created with the particular name. And as you notice, it didn't load. So we'll hit refresh and it should pop up there. And there it is, test, test, confirm, test, test. And we'll go ahead and click that and select that. And then if you wish to bypass or not use the RT to see the difference, you can drag that noodle over there. And then this uh, right here is the particular node that loads this web app. So there is a particular um, folder that makes that. If you um, have just a webcam and can get this particular node to work, I could not. You don't have to load that app. It'll just directly connect to your webcam. I could not get that to work, so. And then uh, resize um, right there. Um, also, you can resize on the web app. You'll have to stop and start it to for it to take effect. Anything on the settings the same way. So you have to stop it and start it to make that effect. And, uh, I did add some control nets to the flow, bypass them because it takes longer if you use them. And then this is the positive and negative uh, prompts. You just gotta make those red and green, put them on top and bottom. <clears throat> and then uh, once you're ready to go, you should just be able to go ahead and click. Uh, you wanna do extra options first. That way you can do the auto queue. Click on auto queue to make it continuous otherwise we'll just get one image and then hit uh, prompt and now it should take a while for the tensor to load once that loads though it should just be off to the races 
And uh, of course, we went with the Tigers because why not? <laughs> and ooh, yeah, I'm Tony the Tiger. It gave me automatic muscles. I'm not even that strong. And watch this. It'll probably game. It's gonna give me a six pack right now too. A little not safe for work moment. 